Tumba was created here, in Santiago de Cuba. Tumba is over two centuries old. UNESCO has proclaimed it an intangible cultural heritage. I am with Flavio, my man. I am the president of Caridad de Oriente, the Tumba of Santiago. We rehearse in our center on Thursdays. There is another Tumba in Guantanamo, and a third in Holguin in the countryside. We need younger people to carry on after us. Now we're in Los Hoyos. It's Santiago's working class district. Here's our building on Carnesia Street. My Flavio is the president of the Santiago Tumba. Here's Sulidis. She's our youngest. <laughs> Sulidis loves jokes. Thursday is the best day of the week. We dress up, we put on makeup, we dance. It's a party. means drum. It comes from Africa, from Daume. It's called Tumba Francesa because we dance French dances. The minuet. The gavotte. The Rigodon. They were danced at the king's court in France, the Chateau de Versailles, a long time ago. My name is Andrea Kiala Vene. I am a descendant of slaves from the kingdom of Daume. My ancestors came through Haiti and Santo Domingo. They came to Cuba and had children. This is why we're called Vene d'Angers, because we are descended directly from French stock. Every night at sunset, the Mambis close the port of Santiago. The Mambis are our ancestors who threw the Spanish into the sea. They danced the tumba when these groups were spreading the ideas of independence.
the Spanish were the first to ship Africans to the West Indies. The French planted coffee and sugarcane. They needed a lot of cheap labor to grow the plants. They shipped more slaves than anyone else. They loaded them on the coasts of Guinea, Niger, and the Congo. They even went as far as Mozambique to get them, the other side of Africa. How many of our ancestors were packed into the slave ships? Millions. How many arrived? So many died during the trip. Ill treatment, epidemics, despair. The trip took weeks. I heard so many horrible stories. The slave trade was a great tragedy. When Toussaint Louverture threw the French out of Haiti, the plantation owners left for Cuba. Their house slaves came with them. Their fate was linked to that of their masters. Our ancestors landed here, in the Bay of Santiago. It's a magnificent sight, don't you think? On Sunday, Flavio and I like to stroll around together. We go to the Castillo del Monte, the Citadel, in tribute to our ancestors. Y arena, y ahora se hace con laja y cemento, pero es el mismo, tra el mismo trabajo que hacían ellos antes. Le trabajaron duramente. Those who worked in the coffee fields were up at dawn. They prayed, the foreman called them, and they left for the coffee plantations. They worked in line, all at the same rhythm. At sunset, they returned to the master's house. There was an evening roll call and curfew. And every day was the same. La comunidad ha tenido un papel central en el proceso de revitalización de la expresión cultural, que ha sido un proceso participativo. This woman is Montserrat Martel. She represents UNESCO in Cuba. The UNESCO proclamation was like a breath of fresh air. We tended to stay too much to ourselves. 
hemos propiciado la revitalización y la transmisión a partir del encuentro de las tres tumbas en un sitio del patrimonio mundial, la Isabelica, en Santiago de Cuba, y también a partir del encuentro de los miembros de las comunidades de la tumba francesa y de los actores locales y nacionales que están directamente vinculados al destino de esta expresión cultural. This beautiful house is the Isabelica, a coffee plantation. Our ancestors slaved away here. It is now a classified site. The slaves worked in the lower part of the house. This is where they punished those who disobeyed. All these old irons, these chains, the rings, it's frightening. It gives me goosebumps. They sorted and bagged the coffee beans here. The masters lived upstairs. The French were the aristocrats of the Caribbean. They gave magnificent parties. They danced as they did at the French king's court and the house slaves learned the dances by watching. They elected a king and a queen. The masters forgot, but we have preserved this memory. If people still dance the minuet in Cuba today, it is because of us, the descendants of slaves. Flavio has a meeting with Hernán Nusa, one of the greatest Cuban musicians today. Before leaving, he told me, Andrea, I'm scared silly. He told me he'd go first to the barber before meeting the maestro. You look good, Flavio. Have fun. The Sala Dolores is an old colonial church that was transformed into a theater. It's beautiful, don't you think? You can tell he was scared to death at first, poor guy. This is a theme that I did for a long time. And I added elements. We worked in a group. At that time, it was a quartet. That is, piano, bass, bass, and percussion. And working in conjunction, we came to a conclusion of rhythms que tiempo después descubrí que esos ritmos venían de la tumba francesa y yo no lo sabía. Saber exactamente de dónde son. Por ejemplo, el bajo, que va como, como si fuera un son, una clave así, ¿no? Descubro que ese es lo que hace la tambora. I don't know if Flavio understands Hernán's explanations, but he's dying to play. Era el catá. my Flavio. It's okay. Hernán plays Autumn Leaves, a tribute to his French mother who lives in Havana.
Bueno. ¿Cómo? ¿Cómo? Buena, ¿cómo son las mandarinas, mi vida? In the past, the Tumba only accepted descendants of French slaves. Suridis didn't know anything about our history. She joined us because she likes the rhythm of the Tumba. Today, the community is open to everyone who likes to dance the Tumba. A boy from the neighborhood came to see us. We talked, we listened to him. If he has a good attitude and artistic ability, then he is one of us. The boy who designed the costumes used old drawings as models. We also have old photographs of the first tumbas in our archives. UNESCO gave us this fabric. The first tumberos copied the costumes of their masters, and the masters copied the dresses worn at court in Versailles, when the kings lived there. Our ancestors did not have money to buy lace or expensive fabrics, so they obviously made simpler clothes with inexpensive fabric. The dressmakers asked us for a model, and we suggested Suridis. The municipal dressmaking shop of Santiago is making them. These old singer sewing machines came here at the same time as the Chevrolets, the Cadillacs, the Buicks, and they last forever. liked our rhythms and our history so much that he decided to record an album. He worked for hours. And then one day, He was so happy, he instantly announced it on the radio.
Yo, la primera vez que escuché la tumba francesa, que fue hace unos años, digamos, hace unos seis, siete años, por ahí anda, me di cuenta, primero me quedé impresionado. Eh, es algo totalmente diferente eh, a lo que yo había escuchado y visto hasta ese momento en música cubana. Y realmente me, me sentí muy atraído, muy, muy embriagado y atraído por, la, por ese espíritu, por ese eh, lenguaje, eh, por esa energía. Eh, y por eso, bueno, esta grabación. Se hace una, una, la grabación en el estudio de Abdala a partir de un tema mío, eh, lo adapté para esta ocasión. Entonces vienen algunos percusionistas de Santiago. de Santiago y yo invité a un contrabajista, un muchacho joven que ahora viene pues eh, demostrando su talento así eh, a todo dar, que es eh, Gastoncito, Gastón, hijo de Gastón, que es músico. Y eh, también invité a Aide Milanés, que bueno, hemos hecho trabajo sí. en otras ocasiones, porque quería también tener algo de voz. Eh, aunque hay algunos cantos también de, de la misma tumba francesa, no es moviendo la cintura ni los hombros, no, no, es, es dando unos, unos pasitos. Además. The workshop told us the dresses were ready. Suridis and her mother grumble at the poor boy. The tricycle is our taxi. It's for the people. It's slower, but at least we have a breeze. They can't believe it. How many years had they been dreaming of new dresses? Suridis, my sister Sarah and I could already see ourselves dancing. How did I learn? I learned when I was young by watching how the adults danced. But young children weren't allowed in the Tumba Francesa halls. The president at the time wanted the kids to learn. She spread her skirts wide and we hid behind them and danced. We learned with our eyes, like I said. Today, we take the children in hand. We take them to the hall and tell them, we do this and that. We teach them the dance steps. We teach them to play and we teach them to sing in Creole. In Guantanamo, they realized before we did that they had to include young people. The government encouraged them, the city helped them. This woman is a choreographer from Havana. She was sent by UNESCO to prepare for the Tumba Assembly. Ustedes 
tocan? Sí. Ah, sí. ¿Y qué tocan? Yo toco el kata. ¿Kata? ¿Y tú? El kata. ¿Y tú? El nombre es? ¿El tambor cuál? El quinto. ¿El quinto? ¿El repique? Mmm, qué bien. ¿Y me van a hacer una demostración? Sí, sí. Vamos, porque tú siempre es el que te dirá hasta arriba. Three drums in the tumba. The kata, a hollow tree trunk, stuck with two wooden sticks. The premier and bula drums are covered with goat skin. That one is Nelly, the professor from Guantanamo. They're serious in Guantanamo, but they do sometimes make mistakes. Come on, kids, concentrate. Don't forget our ancestors depend on you. a la tumba francesa. Es un baile eh, muy, eh, muy ritmo, que yo me siento, estando aquí en la tumba francesa, yo bailando con el ritmo, me siento que estoy adentro de la música, adentro, adentro de cualquier instrumento que, que está tocando. In recent years, Flavio and I would have liked to bring children to the Caridad, but we didn't have the money to give them costumes. We always wanted to create a school like the Pompadour. We hope UNESCO will help us set it up. personalidad una personalidad y cada y cómo se logra esa personalidad hay en el cuerpo ¿m? de esa persona de ese bailador un centro que te ayuda a sacar esa personalidad cuál sería la personalidad mira por ejemplo ponte elegante párate elegante párate elegante como cuando tú te vas a preparar para bailar bien ponte normal pero no rígido Eso viene espontáneo, eso viene espontáneo, ¿entiendes? Y eso es muy importante, que ustedes se sientan elegantes, que ustedes se sientan de verdad, no se rían, eso lo tienen que hacer, ¿entiendes? Entonces, eso es muy importante, la profesora le está marcando, pero el paso, pero ustedes tienen que mantenerse erguidos con la época que están bailando, porque todos estos bailes es bailes de salón de la corte francesa, ¿se entiende? Entonces es importante eso que colaboren con la profesora, que estoy completamente convencida que todo eso se los ha dicho. Y que ustedes tienen que tratar de mantener. Eso es muy importante. Gracias, profesora. The costumes are here. It's the big day. Oh, we couldn't wait for these dresses. 
Her whole life, my mother, Queen Yoya, dreamed of wearing outfits like these. Maybe she sees us, and she's happy for us. See. <laughs> on the weekends, the young people of Santiago meet up on the street to party and dance. When I saw Suledi, I said to myself, this young woman has something. I asked her, do you want to join us? She said yes. All the young people are in the street at night. But you know the street. Everyone's out for himself and there's rum for all. Most of the musicians now playing classical music were born here in Santiago. And the mother of all this music is the tumba. We are excited about the new dresses and this album we're going to record with Hernán. UNESCO organized a meeting at the Pompadour Center, the Tumba Francesa in Guantanamo. The boys played for the whole trip. To be honest, the rum had something to do with it. certainly made a big entrance at Guantanamo. Here's Justina Ofelia Jarosa the Pompadour Queen stepping out of her carriage, greeted by her escort. Even if we no longer understand it very well, Creole is still the language of the tumba.
This is what we call the frente. The dancer stands in front of the drum and they talk to each other. Sometimes it's a duel who can see who can surprise the other. This young boy is pretty good on the drum, but he's still a bit young for the frente. He can still keep up despite his age. He's still full of fire. That's Gibelto, our frente. He's really something, don't you think? This is my daughter Kelly, receiving our UNESCO diploma. Kelly is the future president of Calidad. Montserrat Martel is here as well. The paper says we are a masterpiece of humanity. Ahora cuando termine aquí, tú sabes qué voy a hacer, mija. Peinarme. Here's Ulysses, silly dad's daughter. Para mañana. A girl spends a wonderful night with a man. He gives her a child and then vanishes. It's not unusual here. Y a ver, cántame la canción de los pollitos, si tú te la sabes. Los pollitos dicen, pío, pío, pío. Cuando tienen hambre, porque tú no eres tacaña, tú reparte ya. Te la tengo reserva. Suridis is a cleaning woman in a hospital. Gilberto works in a bakery. There are no rich people dancing the tumba. We all have small jobs. We get by. We help each other out. Aleluya. Con la mano en la cintura, ¿cómo es? Pa, 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 pa. ¿No hay nada? La botella tiene rola. No, la cerveza. Está loco. ¿El ron lo que hay? ¿Ron? El sao coco. La 220 más. La 220 más. El sao coco. La 220 más. La 220 más. A mí me gusta la toma francesa por sus toques y los bailes que son eh, diferentes a todos los demás, al folclórico y esas cosas así. Eh, con la tumba francesa yo he viajado a La Habana, he ido a Isabelica, he eh, eh, actuado en la televisión, en Teleturquino, he ido a, a las comunidades también. He hecho muchas cosas y he aprendido muchas cosas con la tumba francesa de sobre los franceses de aquel tiempo. Gracias a ella, sé unas cuantas cosas culturales que no sabía. UNESCO paid our airline tickets. Flavio and I talked about the album the entire flight. Everyone was nervous, except Suridis, who partied the night before. Mm -hmm. 
One hour later, we landed in Havana. The weather was horrible. Of course, the younger ones wanted to go to the Malecon. The Abdallah studio is one of the best in Cuba. All our great artists record there, and we were there too. We couldn't believe it. As soon as we put on our headphones, we were carried along by the music. It happened naturally. Music is like the morito. Either you get it or you don't. My singing was a bit off. Kelly set things straight. When Aide Milanes, the daughter of the great Pablo Milanes, arrived, we were all intimidated. Pablo is a legend in Cuba. El segundo siempre te queda movido, no sé por qué. Pero do los los demás te quedan perfecto, pero siempre el segundo o el tercero, no me acuerdo, te queda movido. We couldn't get our song out of our heads. We sang it everywhere, all the time. <laughs> we returned to our center on Carnesaria Street. We had changed. We had just recorded an album the radios will soon be playing all over the country. The French were making a film about the tumba, and UNESCO said we were a masterpiece. My mother, Queen Yoya, and all our ancestors are proud of us. Gracias. 
la maceta. Eh, hemos ido luchando hasta el presente, formando la juventud y para que la tumba francesa no, no muera, porque de lo contrario ya hubiese desaparecido ya. Hemos luchado de generación en generación, pues ya hubiese desaparecido la tumba francesa porque nosotros no somos inmortales, ni ellos tampoco. Ya, mira, ya desaparecieron, entonces quedamos nosotros, que somos los que vamos llevando la tumba francesa. O sea, que hay que enseñar a los menores y a la juventud para que no desaparezca la tumba francesa.